okay in this lecture we will see uh, about the basic concepts of synthesis like what is meant by removal of a pole at infinity and uh, with which component we can replace that removed pole okay that we can see here so first of all the important thing that you need to know is that we know all the impedances and admittances of any given particular network are made up of passive elements so they are passive networks and also they are positive real functions fine so when you add any two pass uh, positive real function the resultant will be a positive real function that means um, we all know in a series combination so when impedances are connected in series we can add them similarly when admittances are there when they are connected in parallel we can add them like whatever it is the net impedance or admittance function can be represented as addition of different terms so that is what the basic of elementary synthesis like the conversion of the given function into various different terms in form of addition is the basic concept of synthesis when you do that you need to convert each term into a particular element and you need to connect the network in the end this is what network synthesis is okay so now we will see what is meant by removal of pole at infinity first of all what is meant by pole at infinity so any function is said to be having pole at infinity when its numerator degree is greater than the degree of the denominator by 1 okay so that is what given here so we will consider an impedance function z of s here having a pole at infinity which means that the numerator polynomial is 1 degree greater than the degree of the denominator polynomial so in such a case what we can do we can separate the terms like this which is hs plus the other numerator and denominator with numerator is having different coefficients and denominator will be having same coefficients because it has to match we have to compare it with z of s right so then when you cross multiply this what do you get h h is a n plus 1 by b n fine right now see the z of s the given function has been separated into two different parts here where h s is one term and another term is having two more polynomials as numerator and denominator right so now what is this h s term so this h s term is nothing but inductive element right inductor because inductor in laplace domain is having an impedance of ls so where that means here h is nothing but inductance value right okay so let us consider this z of s as z1 of s plus z2 of s okay uh, let us consider it like that what is given z is equal to z1 plus z2 right in this case z1 is nothing but h of hs and z2 of s is nothing but this ratio which is nothing but z of s minus hs right so we can separate this hs as an element of l and remaining network is directly represented with z2 so this whole combination now is going to become z of s okay so this l combined with z2 of s is going to become z of s right similarly in the next step what we are going to do this z2 of s will also be going to be separated accordingly we are going to determine the individual components of the entire function that is how we are going to proceed with so suppose if this z of s is nothing but y of s then what about this hs hs is nothing but capacitive thing that time then it will be becoming c 
which will be connected in parallel because in case of admittances uh, parallel connection will be having additive terms right that's why c is connected in parallel so when you solve the problem you will understand all these things very clearly fine right 